Hello everyone, this is Life360 and today we are going to talk about learn volumes. So basically this is a topic from biology where we talk about the long volumes or the different terms that are used to define the process of breathing. So starting with air pressure. As everyone knows the simple definition is pressure exerted by the air in the atmosphere is called air pressure so now moving on we will discuss the different pressures that we define when we are studying the lung volumes so what is a tidal volume a tidal volume is the amount of air that is inspired and expired during a normal breath so when you are breathing in one breath when you inspire and then expire the air out of your body the total amount or the volume of the gas that you take in and take out is called the tidal volume and it is about half a liter which is less than uh, 20 ounce drink bottle so you inhale and exhale the total of that gas is about half a liter in volume then expiratory reserve volume or ERV which is the additional amount of air that can be exhaled after normal exhalation so when you have for, for say uh, exhaled the tidal volume means all the air is gone then what additional you have the capacity to exhale means the air remains out of the tidal volume that you can still exhale is called the expiratory reserve volume and that can be uh, exhaled beyond normal in some conditions so inspiratory reserve volume uh, uh, similar to that expiratory reserve volume the additional amount of air that can be breathed apart from the normal inhalation is called the inspiratory reserve volume so what is residual volume the amount of air that is left after expiratory reserve volume is exhaled so when you have exhaled all of the air that you can then the residual volume the remaining amount of gas in the lungs is called the residual means remaining volume the lungs are never empty so there is some air that is present in the lungs and that volume of that gas is called the residual volume because if the lungs will completely emptied by the air then they will collapse because they are spongy bodies Okay, vital capacity. Maximum amount of air that can be exhaled or inhaled during an respiratory cycle is called the vital capacity. So, what amount or what volume that is the maximum limit you can exhale or inhale is termed as vital capacity and is stated it is a sum of expiratory reserve volume, tidal volume, and inspiratory reserve volume. So, all of these capacities means the tidal volume that is in one cycle the exhalation and inhalation and if in some cases there is expiratory reserve volume or inspiratory reserve volume which is for say that more than the tidal volume and it is fired off as fired so all these sum up to be the vital capacity that can be exhaled and inhaled by a person okay so now total lungs volume it is as you can say total lungs volume the word says that all of the volume that is present in the lungs of the gas is called the total lungs volume the functional residual capacity includes the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume it measures the air that can be exhaled after a normal exhalation okay so it is the sum of all these volumes okay now positive pressure breathing we will teach you in another video this is all for the video of for the video of total lung volumes i hope you may have learned a lot hello everyone from life 360 this is my first video that i'm making with my own sound so i hope you will understand what i say in this video uh, please forgive me for any mistakes that I commit. Thank you.